It's time to return as one. This is the transition period of the transformation of our consciousness. A new paradigm will be created as we pass through the year 2012. As soon as we communicate and understand who we are, we will all live our lives as we will. There is no ultimate truth, except that we are all the same energy, expressing itself in infinite ways. All is illusion, except the truth of infinite consciousness. We are all becoming aware that we are each other, and our lives and physical experience are a manifestation of our thoughts. We are what we think we are. As our vibration enters a new frequency, we will be able to create using our infinite power and genius without restriction. Our imagination of self and the world around us becomes our physical experience. Once this is realized, we can take back the hallucination and do what thou wilt as the collective subconscious desires. We need to change our perceptions collectively to what we desire and will. We can start by knowing that everything is you because we are all consciousness. We are all aspects of that infinite love which you have learned is God. That is why the order of stone monk mystics follow the golden rules. Do not harm yourself and do not harm anyone else. We are all trying to put together the pieces to the puzzle. As we approach 2012, information will increase and we will figure out and master our nervous system. Our consciousness within this frequency range will transform into a higher vibration. A new awareness will emerge. We are at a point in time where all the myths start over and are recreated for the next cycle. Repression of human beings and acid of human machines, genocidal archetypes, more advanced than Europeans, distortion of reality, abortion, criminality, you're altering the minds of people using their morality. We're living in a fallacy of man made fantasy, unaware about the true nature of the galaxy. Creation is supreme inside the planetary scheme, fighting light against dark in a humanitarian dream, diluted by the activation of an evil affirmation taken by the demons who will have to shape the fabrication. I was stuck inside a false perception of the Illuminati in this illusion create the balance of good versus evil, light versus dark, and male-female duality. Without this illusion, we could not have this world which has been set up for a piece of God's mind to experience. The dark makes us appreciate the light. The balance is necessary for the illusion's existence. But what we need to do is identify with infinite consciousness and stop this identification with our body, or we will continue to be slaves in this illusion. We are living a false identity. We are not our name, family, race, religion, or body. We aren't our possessions, our job, status, or even personality. We are that one consciousness which is infinite love. Consciousness is a dream, and you cannot limit a dream. Once we understand the illusions that have held us back, we can then create out of the infinite that we are. This world can be changed. All we have to do is understand that with infinite possibilities, there are no limits. We will be the change in our communities and create the life that we all desire. If you are powerless, it is only because you believe that you are. We must strive to be the change we want to see in the world. Don't we all just want to get along? This world can be frustrating if we make it frustrating. If we desire to change our society, then we will. When you're walking down the street and you see other people, who are you seeing? You're seeing an aspect of the true self. We are each other, part of the one consciousness, which is indeed love. <laughs>